terms of thoughts going to Auburn, a lot of times whenever we go to a away game, what I like to do is uh, I realize that I'm not in this situation that I've been in before just because I've never played at Auburn. But um, just realizing what I'm going into, uh, Coach Sweeney says all the time, you know, we went to the national championship last year. That's the biggest stage that you can play on in college football. So you're not going to play on a bigger stage than that. And uh, if you if you tell yourself, okay, I've been here, done this, um, it just really helps with your thought process going into it. You got butterflies going into your first big road environment last season, and uh, how, how much does having that experience help this time around? Oh, yes, sir. It's huge for a confidence booster just because going into Louisville, that was my first away game. Um, had two field goals going into that game just against App State and uh, I was really nervous just because I had no idea what to expect but uh, like I was saying you just have to go you have to approach it this is a situation I understand I've never been in it before but uh, just take it how it comes. Is it impossible to describe the kind of night and day difference for you for this year prior to the first game as opposed to last year the position you're in? I honestly couldn't put it into words. Really the only thing that I could say about it is not necessarily having a lot of nerves going into it, but expectations that people have for me. That's really the main difference from last year and this year. How much more comfortable are you now as opposed to last year? I'm pretty comfortable now. <laughs> I was I was nervous going into several games last year, but uh, pretty comfortable, especially since I've had a good spring um, and a good fall camp. That's confidence going into the first game, so I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty comfortable. You've been here and just put in a significant amount of work on your kickoffs and, and you're getting quite a bit more distance on, on those on a consistent basis. Uh, how much work have you put in on that? And, uh, uh, a big difference in terms of kickoffs for the offseason. I wasn't here for the offseason last year, so I didn't go through the weight program that they have here. And that's a tremendous program. My numbers went up a crazy amount, more than I would have expected, um, which obviously went right into the kickoffs, improving the distance for that. Also doing yoga over the summer, increasing on the flexibility. Um, Coach Sweeney's pretty happy, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I feel confident that I can put it in the end zone every time. Obviously, you don't want to be that last line of defense on a kickoff, but you were put in that position on more than one occasion last season. And how much have you worked on that as far as like taking the proper angles? Well, they've, the coaches have definitely added tackling drills for us now, so kind of makes practice a little more fun for us. But uh, just learning some of the small tech thing, technique things like that will probably help out. How is the kickoff coverage what you It's improved a lot, in my opinion, just because you can tell that people are putting in more effort and uh, small things like that, really focusing on the technique that they have to do uh, going into the game. So I'd say it's definitely improved. Do you ever think about it? Is there going to be any less pressure on you to make kicks? Obviously, there's a big kick in the fourth quarter, but knowing that your offense is so capable of scoring tons of points, does it ease a little bit of the burden going, all right, if I miss the second quarter field goal, it's a pretty good chance we're going to come back and make up those points? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Going into the game, uh, really having trust in our offense takes, like you said, a lot of the pressure off just because you can go out there and – we have a new snapper this year, or long snapper, Estes, and uh, I'm comfortable with him. We've been working on the timing and everything this off season, and uh, so we are, we're already working on that chemistry to feel comfortable, and I honestly didn't know what it was gonna be like when Jim left, just because like I gotta love Jim Brown. The snap was there all the time, and uh, so that's one part of a comfort thing, and not having to worry about, okay, is our offense gonna get it done next series, but I know for a fact they will, so I'm not really worried about it. How about the feeling for you knowing you're the guy? No way I'm going to make it here. Obviously, if you stick up the joint, someone's going to come along and take your job. But knowing you're the guy coming into camp, it's really it's your job. Uh, it's a good feeling. I still have to compete every single day. You know, last year, whenever Ammon first came back, I told myself, okay, I had to compete against Alex and Christian every single day. So really, what's the difference, even though he was the start of the year before? Um, so my mindset doesn't necessarily change, even though I was expected to start coming into it. Um, 
really the only thing that the difference is me feeling comfortable in a game situation now uh, last year wasn't necessarily like that towards the beginning of the season whenever I was starting but I really approach practice the same as I did last year. Still got to come out and compete against those guys because they're solid kickers. You're one of the most accurate kickers in the country last year. Coach B as well as the Utah camp as well. Um, has all the work that you put in as far as strength and conditioning and the offseason and flexibility, is that going to help with your distance as well uh, over the yards? I'd like to think so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All good? Thanks, Yeah, thanks.